Okay, as Salesforce leaders, how are you transferring all of these skills and teaching the value of these strategies to your unit? So I'm sure um, you're going to take back what you heard from Kim and, and take that home. So, okay, are y'all excited to hear from your next teacher? Yes, I'm so excited for you. Your next teacher will be sharing her best follow-up strategies for customers, potential team members, unit members, and skincare party hostesses. Ever since college, independent national sales director Dawn Otten Sweeney has had a desire to succeed. Yes, get excited. She made 15 appearances in the unit circles, including two times in the prestigious half million dollar circle of, ex, uh, of achievement. She qualified for 11 top sales director trips, including five of the prestige trips. Dawn was in the top 10 of her seminar five times and led her unit to the million dollar circle of excellence twice, her highest in the 1,150,000 circle. Debuting as a national sales director in 2004, she's a member of the NSD Millionaires Club with over $4 million in commissions she's earned since starting her business in 1986. Teaching follow-up and follow through from the Sapphire Seminar. Everyone get up and please welcome Independent National Sales Director Dawn Otten Sweeney. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> See you later, girlfriend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where can you have so much fun on a Monday morning? They do your makeup and hair before you come out here. And then I get to sit here with my buddy that I've done Mary Kay with for 30 years, Kim Walker. So we've traveled all over the world together. She was single for most of the time that we were on the top director's trip. And my husband was praying for her to find a husband as much as she was. Because he's like, he's right there. He's like, I am not carrying your bags any longer. So we were in the front row of her wedding cheering them on as they walked down the aisle. Oh, we're blessed, aren't we? You guys, how many women right now um, are praying for exactly what you're feeling in this arena right now and have experienced here? Um, I was listening to Kim's, because um, I like to springboard out after the last teacher. So as a director and a leader and a speaker, that's smart. Listen to what's happened before so you are building on top of it and you don't have to share the same things. You do the and then some. And so this, I'm going to start off with a quote because my topic is follow up and follow through. Um, what I'm noticing about all the topics that we've been asked to teach at leadership is they are Mary Kay 101 full circle. Mary Kay 101 full circle, which I love because I went to Mary Kay's home for new director training. I was trained, Daylene White was my national in my home when my daughter Alden, who is expecting our first grandchild, was in my belly when I went on my first director's trip, arm in arm with Mary Kay Ash, walking to Windsor Castle and just blubbering, just so thankful for what this opportunity had brought into my life, my husband's life, my kid's life, and Mary Kay sweetly just stopped in the middle of the road with her little jeans on. She had cute little jeans, and she was little, and she was soft, but when those steely blue eyes looked in your eyes, you were clear that it was, this was not going to be enabling tickle my ear conversation. She looked right into your soul, and she grabbed your hand and pat it and say, honey, pass it on. Pass it on. Nothing else, no other words, pass it on. And I'm loving growing up in Mary Kay from 23 to I just start my last five, final five start right now, to 65. And I'm, I've loved every season of it. 
You know, you look at statistics of millennials or Gen Z or X or whatever alphabet we're on now, I don't know. But you guys, women are women around the world. You know, I love that Kim was talking about Martin Luther King and Mary Kay and the analogies. Mary Kay did not see color or age. She did not see color or age. She saw women, how God created them. She tells us in her autobiography, how many people have read her autobiography in the last six months? It's your assignment if you have it. New Year's in July 1st. Think it should be mandatory for leadership in Mary Kay. She says in the last chapter, her succession plan, you guys, in marketing, people started to talk about succession planning about 10 years ago. Mary Kay, as with everything, was so far ahead of her time. She started her succession planning way back, and in her autobiography, she says, our company will continue on after I'm gone if these three things are protected. Do you know what those three things are? So I need you to read your autobiography because it's her leadership team. You need to know these things. It's like the four-point recruiting plan and you do a class and you go, okay, tell me the four-point recruiting plan and everyone just stares at you or looks down because they don't want to make eye contact because they don't really know it. Her succession planning was that Mary Kay believed that everyone had a seed of greatness inside of them and it was our job to encourage it out. And the, the, we do this beautifully with our recognition. You do it beautifully from encouraging women from the very first moment that you meet them. She also said that we are going to build our business by the golden rule. Golden rule, customer service. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And she believed that life worked best when she prioritized with God first, family second, and career third. You guys, that she charged the leadership team to protect. That's not Mary Kay corporate's job. They model it beautifully. And I love them focusing on when Cheryl was talking about she's the Mary Kay experience um, VP. My husband's like, that's like the chief party officer of Animal House. That sounds like a fun job. I'm like, well, it's probably not exactly like that. But you guys heard she was saying that the company's customer is us. I remember Ryan Roger sharing a few years ago, you say a few years ago, but we had the pandemic, so it was probably five years ago, right? You have to add three years onto everything. So it was probably five or six years ago, and she was, he was sharing that his grandma had a card put in every employee's office that said, you know, your customer is the consultants and directors. So our customers are our customers. And golden rule customer service that Mary Kay said this company is dependent on with us starts with our pre-customers, our leads. And then it starts with your customers, your hostesses, your potential recruits, your recruits, and even people that are getting out. You guys, some people are in this for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. We want them leaving saying, that was a great experience. I am better for being in Mary Kay in association with it. Whether they come to a party and don't buy anything, I want them leaving learning something. Mary Kay started this company to teach skincare. And during the pandemic, actually prior to that, when the use of social media started to, you know, make its appearance in the world and then in our Mary Kay business, we got a little confused because we started to think that we're like other drug selling companies that just throw enough out on social media and sell stuff and recruit people to do things for personal use, but then either go chapter 11 or bought out or just have a whole bunch of ditto delivery independent consultants with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's not us. People who delved into that realized that doesn't work. Mary Kay started this to teach skincare because it was a void in the early 60s and 50s. No one was teaching women how to cleanse, exfoliate, moisture balance, no, cleanse, exfoliate, tone, moisture balance, protect. That's still what we do. You just get to pick. Is it botanicals? Is it the naturally line? Is it 3D? Is it repair? Is it, you know, adding on clinical solutions? Cleanse, exfoliate, tone, moisture balance, protect. That's what, that's what we excel in, teaching, teaching women how to take care of their skin. 
We're not about this beautiful social media post you can make. Like Kim was saying, she's not out there on her social media saying, Mary Kay, buy Mary Kay for me. You guys, it's not sustainable. Also, too, I'm not really sure that that's golden rule customer service. Let's talk about golden rule customer service and listen to this quote from Mary Kay. Think of how far ahead of her time she was when she said, and I don't know what year this was quoted, indirect sales, probably more than any other business, customer focus is the key. It's the real test of service, and service is the heart of our business. Mary Kay Ash. Indirect sales, probably more than any other business, customer focus is the key. It's the real test of service, and service is the heart of our business. You guys, let's talk about that. Customer service, customer focus. I think it's at an all-time low in the United States of America. I can't speak for other countries, but in the United States, customer service is at an alarming low rate. People don't go to work. I mean, that's about you, not the customer, right? Your convenience, you know, not the customers that are coming to that business. They act like they are doing you a favor to take your order. I mean, I just had something lost with the shipping company, and literally they go, the sender requested it back. I go, I'm the sender. I didn't request it back. Oh, no, well, we can't do anything about it. The sender requested it back. I go, I, I'm the sender. <laughs> I didn't request it back. It was just, I mean, how many people have been frustrated? Okay, so what that means is that even if we do crappy Mary Kay customer service, we're still gonna shine. <laughs> but we are not gonna do crappy Mary Kay customer service, right? We are gonna do Mary Kay golden rule customer service. And you guys, you're not gonna be able to keep customers away. You are going to shine like the brightest star out there because what the pandemic did do is our competitors prior to the pandemic, I believe, were the brick and mortar stores. It was never direct sales. Let's not be confused. You know, I've been in Mary Kay 36 years now. So it started off with, you know, maybe beauty control and then it was brand, brand, brand. I've seen so many brands come and go that consultants or directors go, oh my gosh, everyone's using this brand. Well, everyone's not using that brand. And time and truth walk hand in hand. Mary Kay taught us we never um, degrade another brand. We don't say names like I just did. You don't do that. You guys are all in Mary Kay, so that's different, right? So you're not Facebooking this to your customers, please. She said we'd never degrade we just share with them. My job is to share with you Mary Kay customer service. So Mary Kay golden rule customer service, it starts from the very beginning. When you meet someone, like I was warm booked in a mall. Debbie Moore was out with a consultant who was scared to talk to people. I was filling out a competitive shopping report. I was 23 years old. I had just survived 80 hours in the job I had been recruited for out of the University of Michigan Business School. And I was a little bit stressed out because my visa bills were here, my paycheck was here, and I saw the women I was being groomed to be, and I did not want their life. Their life was get up, go to work, come home, watch TV, eat dinner, go to bed. Get up, go to work, come home, watch TV, eat dinner, go to bed. Get up, go to work, you know what I'm gonna say. Monday through Friday, cram your life into Saturday and get really depressed on Sunday afternoon. And you're gonna do that for a two to four week vacation a year. And then in the mid-80s, you lost your job because it was the first round of white-collar layoffs. And then in you know, the early 90-91, the stock market crashed. There was a whole bunch of layoffs. 2008 and 9, we know what just happened with COVID after 9-11. Well, who's still here? Let's be clear. The number one reason we're still here is whose Mary Kay was. She was God's. She listened to him. And we use this term, you know, she made God her partner. God doesn't need any partners. He doesn't. 
He actually needs you to get out of the co-pilot seat and get in the back of the plane and follow him. And I am convinced that Mary Kay did just that because how could she come up with a company that could not just survive but thrive for 60 years with all the changes that have transpired, especially after what we have just seen in the last three years? So golden rule customer service, it starts from the very beginning. Debbie Moore made Nancy Murata come over and ask me to be a face model. Well, Mary Kay, that's golden rule customer service. Everyone wants to feel special. Make everyone feel important. They have a sign around their neck. She asked me to be a face model. I was complimented. Even if I wouldn't have said yes, it left a good taste in my mouth about Mary Kay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is how you're getting leads, making people feel good, and representing the product and the company with golden rule customer service. So if they walk away and tell their friend, this Mary Kay lady came up to me today, it's not the crazy Mary Kay lady, the stalking Mary Kay lady. It's the, she asked me to be a face model. Like, that was a nice compliment. I felt complimented. No one had asked me to be in Vogue or Cosmo. And I look at Cosmo now, I'm like, that's a good thing <laughs> lately. But then Nancy Murata followed up. That's golden rule customer service right away. And you guys, when we don't do golden rule customer service thinking about the other person, because maybe you don't call her back too soon because she's busy and you don't want to be pushy. I get real uncomfortable when people say, I don't want to be pushy. Because what that is telling me is you're unwilling to be trained to be professional. Pushy and professional are very different. Professionals give you all the choices and the ability to make the decision for yourself. Pushy is when you are only giving them a little bit of an option, like $30 to get your stuff at cost. You don't tell them about all the exciting things that happened at leadership and that we have room at the top where most companies don't now. We have so many nationals retiring that if you want to bring your leadership skills to Mary Kay, wow, the sky's the limit. I'd love to talk to you about it. Do you understand how little Mary Kay, I'm pushy, I'm going to wait, she's busy, she has kids, and you don't follow up with her? And you've asked her to be a face model? to get the opinion of the product, however you get your leads, honoring working women, et cetera. I've met women who say, you know what? Someone said that I was gonna be a face model for them, or they really needed my opinion of the product, or they gave me a goodie bag. I've never heard back from her. I had one lady say, maybe you know, she just changed her mind and really I wouldn't have been a good face model for her. That's sad. That's thinking about the yourself more than the other person. Golden rule customer service starts right from the beginning. If you were, I was grateful Nancy Murata called me. She asked me to be a face model. She called me that night. You ask people, do you want a text? Do you want a Facebook message? Do you want a phone call? What's better, morning or night? Give them the choice. We have all the options in the world. This hybrid and in-person gives you all the options in the world. Which is better for you? And then you do it according to what she desires. That's you know, make me feel important, golden rule customer service. Not based on your personality, based on what she desires, because you ask her questions. Golden rule customer service also means that you talk less and you listen more. Ask questions. Mary Kay said we had two ears and one mouth and we were supposed to use it proportionately. Very true. And so, Nancy Murata called me. She asked me to be a face model. Then she gave me the choices, this day or this day, which is better for you. You guys, classic Mary Kay. And then I said, well, she was coming to my apartment, and then she said, do you have someone that would like to join you? My roommate did. We both had a facial. I think she forgot her camera for the before and after picture. Fell in love, bought the skincare, because she wasn't offering me everything under the sun. She was teaching me how to take care of my skin. Yellow concealer. Yellow cream concealer, we loved it. Oh my gosh, we all just looked yellow with cream foundation over us. And we loved it, you know God's with us. When you go through the Mary Kay Museum, Mary Kay used to show us those original cases and she goes, this was BG, before germs. 
because everyone would pass it around the parties and just dip their hands in it. And if you had oily skin, you put lemon juice in your mask and it dripped down your face. And if you had, um, you put oil in it and we baked stuff in the oven, crazy stuff. Spit to put your liquid, your eyeshadow on in the compact and you had eyeshadow and lip color in the same compact. Tell me God has not protected this company and provided for us. So Nancy Miranda then asked me to come to an event because Mary Kay said, there's a new Mary Kay beauty consultant at every party. And it used to be in our flip chart. Put it in your flip chart. You can put sticky notes and say anything in your flip chart. You are using your flip chart, right? Because golden rule customer service means you're duplicatable. Even if you could do, I could sit up here and without a flip chart, I could, I've done a million skincare classes. I could do one, but who's going to recruit? Because they're going to go, I don't have 36 years of experience. You guys, I was shy. I am an introvert. I've learned to work in a very extroverted business. But when I go home, I won't talk to people for a while. Because I'm going to need to charge back up. But that flip chart, it was my security blanket. I read it. And they saw the pictures. And when virtual happened, I did not know what Zoom was. I did not have a laptop. I had a hard drive computer and a cell phone. And we sheltered in place in northeastern Michigan with, in a little cabin with really spotty Wi-Fi. I figured out how to do Zoom on my phone. As soon as we could travel and stores opened, I bought a laptop. It was, nothing was available, right? Because everyone's working from home. So I have a gaming omen laptop. So my son, who's <laughs> a traveling um, DJ producer, He's like, Mom, this thing will, I mean, it's a beast. It is always going to run. It's going to do whatever you need it. So my nephew comes and goes, oh, my gosh, who's got the Omen computer? I'm like, me, cool aunt. That's me, <laughs> cool aunt. But you guys, I, I did not. You would never have said I was a digital diva national. I've book coached, sold, and recruit the Mary Kay way this whole time. And what I'm so excited to tell you is that the people who are doing the best on the other side of the pandemic, figuring out hybrid of what they want to do virtual and what they want to do in, in person, they are hooked on golden rule customer service. They are serving women through this product. They are washing faces versus feet. Everyone has a sign around their neck saying, make me feel important. They are following up with the people, the leads that they get. They are asking questions so they serve people how they want to be served, where they want to be served. Is it on Facebook? Post my party. Zoom? You can just take your flip chart and do a Zoom party right now, exactly like you do in person. And I believe if Mary Kay was here right now with the challenge for the double, um, double diamond power start, Mary Kay would say, well, that's great. That's good for your consultants, but you're my leaders. You're my daughters. You're the ones that I depend on you for those three things that this company is dependent on. For you, it's a 10-party week. Mary Kay Ash, I have letters from her for my 10-party weeks. I'll write you a letter when you do a 10-party week. Really, any national will, I guarantee you. And your 10-party week, I want you to make a list of the people while you're here, just like you're a brand new consultant. Are you willing to be new again to move forward towards the 60th year? When people say, you know, I'll never, I would never be a DIQ again, I'm like, I've been a DIQ so many times, I just never lost my director's jacket. There's times that you look out, some of you may be, you have no unit doing anything. You need to be a DIQ. Just do it in a director's jacket and get paid more for it. I've been a DIQ as a national sales director. Be willing to book eight to hold five. Use the original script. And my recommendation will be to book eight to hold five parties virtually, book eight to hold five parties in person. Do five on Zoom and five in person. Some of you have mastered post my party. Some of you have mastered Facebook. But you guys, it's not the easiest thing for everyone to master. So maybe your leaders, as they're moving up, they do the things that you're really excellent at, but unless what you do is duplicatable, when that person gets a starter kit, it's not really golden rule customer service for our new consultants. Also, what are you sharing with them about the opportunity? When I hear directors say, I have agreements, but these people aren't starting. Well, I want to go back to, what did you recruit them into? Mary, Debbie Moore recruited me into the whole big Mary Kay. She told me the whole big Mary Kay story. 
with the flip chart. I saw Nancy Murata share it at that guest event. I saw it lived out loud. No one talked about getting started for personal use. If you didn't want to do anything, then you could end up getting your stuff at cost, because why wouldn't you? But you guys, it's far easier to recruit people into the whole Mary Kay story. And let's like, I want to digress for a second. It's Mary Kay Ash's story. You're part of it. You do not need to brand yourself. Your brand is Mary Kay Cosmetics. Your brand is the fifth largest global beauty brand in the world last time I read. Maybe that's changed some, but I believe that that is going to explode with 600,000 new consultants this seminar year. If I worked for another company and I decided that I'm going to make my Facebook group, you know, IBM hired me out of business school, and so, you know, I'm going to make my own Facebook group, and I'm my brand, and these are going to be my customers developed my way, I'd get fired from IBM, right? If you started a Chick-fil-A and said, you know what, I know your waffle fries are really popular, but they have a sale on these shoestring fries, and in my area, they like shoestring fries, so I'm going to get those on sale at Piggly Wiggly, and that's what I'm selling at my Chick-fil-A. How's that going to go? you're going to lose your franchise. We don't lose our franchise as independent consultants, but you don't build a sustainable business as quickly as you could. And who here wants a sustainable business? Who here wants a business that you can have hundreds of new consultants on board? And you guys, my experience is that when new people start, the first month, one orders, if there's three new consultants, one third orders their first month, one-third their second month, one-third none at all. So if you are not getting those averages, then we need to look at how are you recruiting people? How? What are you saying to them? Are you saying there's a new Mary Kay Beauty consultant at every party? Are you doing parties? Are you teaching people how to book, coach, sell, and recruit? Are you focusing on skincare like Kim was talking about? Because people with skincare businesses don't quit. My, I have unit members that have been with me 30 plus years. They don't quit. They use skincare. People call them to order skincare. It's a sustainable business. The measure of a consultant's success is how many skincare customers she has, how many, not how many Facebook friends she has. So as you leave here, I want you guys, as you've been at leadership, to make a list of the characteristics that you want on your team, that you want on your team. What are success traits in Mary Kay? You know what people have done that hasn't worked so well, right? But you also know what works well. I mean, I want women that want to continue to learn. They're willing to do something different to get something different. They're women that even if they don't embrace God first, family second, and career third, because I didn't when I came in, I never saw a person read a Bible in their home and apply it to their life before Mary Kay. I thank God that my business path crossed me with National Sales Director Sue Eubel and Kathy Hello. Game changer, and Mary Kay Ash. Game changer. So I want women who, they're either, I already embrace that, or they're not gonna make me walk on eggshells about it. It's our company culture. If you are anti that, go sign up with some other company. That's absolutely fine. You guys, you're a personal recruiter for Mary Kay Cosmetics, and you represent our product. This is not about you. I really think that for us to really do um, Mary Kay's wishes and the 60th anniversary justice, we need to get over ourselves. Because the only reason you don't have more appointments on your books is because you're scared, you're unwilling to be uncomfortable, and that's about yourself. The only reason you have a bunch of people do $30 e-starts and you only talk about personal use is because you're afraid to tell the whole big Mary Kay story because you're playing not to lose versus playing to win. Huge difference. Mary Kay knew, you know, she didn't know that this day would come, but God knew that this day would come. And I really believe that if you walk out of leadership conference willing to do a power start with a couple 10 party weeks leading the way, if you don't have a unit following you, maybe someone will join you. If not, you're going to have a whole new unit. That double gold that Kim was talking about. You guys, this is good old school Mary Kay. Double golds and 10 party weeks. Double golds and 10 party weeks. This was not about directors doing parties for anyone. You guys, we have flip charts. We have all the tools that they watch a couple people do parties. You do not do parties for your people. 
You're enabling women who get human beings out of their bodies and keep them alive. And you, for some reason, presume you can't teach them how to teach women how to cleanse, exfoliate, tone, moisture balance, and protect with the best product line in the universe. You guys, it, it is, when I listen to Cheryl, when I listen to Nathan, when we listen to Ryan at Leadership, the um, tour through the Mary Kay, her office video, if you haven't seen that, is fantastic. I thought I wanted to retire when my mentors retired. Debbie Moore, Kathy Hallou, Heather, when they retired, I'm like, I'm supposed to be retiring with them. I thought I was the same age as them, and then I realized I'm 10 years younger. And I, I felt like the season was done. I am so glad. God's plans were way better than my plans would have been for myself because this is going to be the most exciting, explosive time in Mary Kay Cosmetics we have ever seen in our 60 years. I can guarantee you that. So, when you walk out of here, we walk out proud of who we represent, this product and this opportunity. We become students of Mary Kay's way of doing business, and let's not be misled. There's not old school and new school. There's one school in Mary Kay. You do it according to what she shares in her autobiography. You book, coach, sell, recruit. We may have computer screens and virtual tools that are amazing and we're grateful for, but we're still doing it the Mary Kay Ash way because 84% of women still are not what paid what they, as much as men. You guys, Mary Kay was a pioneer. I hope that irritates you. I hope you wanna do something about it. A 10 party week proves that you wanna do something about it. A double gold medal proves that you wanna do something about it. Being on stage on the 60th anniversary stage with free pink Cadillacs proves that you wanna do something about that. I can't do something about all this other crazy in the world, but I can do something about that. And so can you. Can I count on you to leave here bold, courageous, fired up, confident, and excited about what we are going to usher in by the grace of God and his provision and his protection into this next 60 years? Can I count on you? Thank you. Wow, thank you, Don, for your wisdom on ways to follow up with others and for your spirit of excellence, your investment in teaching others, and your clear communication skills.